Culture and tourism media brand Goge Africa and its partners have unveiled the Destination West Africa project, an initiative established to promote tourism within the sub region. The unveiling, which was held over the weekend in Lagos, had in attendance various tourism experts who identify the barriers that impede intra Africa travels tourism, trade and investment in the West Africa sub-region. According to the organizers, the advocacy for intro african tourism will help showcase the beauty of African common heritage, cultural similarities and diversity with one another and the global community. Our correspondent Simisola Digo has more in this next report. It's been 50 years since the establishment of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, and intra-regional travel is still at a record low. Easy movement of citizens in the sub-region is hindered due to factors such as border challenges during road trips and high cost of air travel. Having identified the gaps in intra-Africa tourism, Goge Africa and its partners have come together to launch the Destination West Africa project, an initiative that will help improve interconnectivity and ultimately encourage Africans to travel within Africa. Industry experts mention high cost of air travel and border challenges as some of the factors hindering intra-Africa tourism. They are advocating for the lowering of these barriers. All the borders the experience at SEME is something, I mean, is, is standing alone. It's different from what every other border is offering. And at several panels here in Nigeria and in Ghana, we spoke, we, we tried pushing, but it will always stop at the conference hall. The African presidents will, will begin to listen to the doctors of travel and tourism industry, I believe, we will take it to the next level. The launch of the project is made more significant as it coincides with the 2022 World Tourism Day. With the theme, Rethinking Tourism, hosts of the event say they will engage with government, policymakers, national tourism boards and stakeholders in host countries. Nigeria, unfortunately, do not consider tourism as something that should be on the front burner. You understand? So, and that's why tourism is not getting the kind of attention it should get. They're giving it attention, but not much, not enough. And that's why it's usually driven by the private sector. The government usually are supposed to set the enabling environment so that um, tourism stakeholders and practitioners can thrive in doing their business. There's a lot of tourist attractions, a lot of places where we share Within the coastline, we share a lot. I've been to Elmina Castle, I, I know what I saw. I've been to the Gambia, I know what I saw. Uh, even Republic of Benin. So we see things happening. Look at Badagri, why is it just exploited? Do you understand? So it depends on how you package it. If you don't package it where you don't give the incentives and they make, make it attractive, nobody will come. So you have to make it extra attractive. If you don't make it attractive, it doesn't work. The tourism industry remains a crucial contributor to economic growth and social development. It is therefore imperative to boost the sector in West Africa as a regional economic community. It's a big business, we just don't see it. At every trip I make, I spend money. So will every other person spend money. So will there be income for all the components. The first leg of the campaign will involve a tour of four West African countries, Benin, Togo, Ghana and Ivory Coast while the second leg will span Gambia, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea. Each leg of the project will take a minimum of two weeks. Simisola Jigun, TV360, Lagos.